the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Alright everybody, welcome to episode 51 of the Daily Swirl. Arnold, yeah, I'm back a lot sooner than you imagined, you know. It's the weekend, it's the freaking weekend, it's Sunday fun day. It's the episode, it's the season finale of the Game of Thrones. So I decided I'd come back here because before I go back to California, Swirl Normus was like, I want you to do tomorrow too. Because Kanye just came out with a new music video with a big orgy, with a lot of celebrities. I want to talk to you a little bit about this. I was so pissed off when I saw this. And I want to tell you why I have little problems with these people being famous and why people freak out for no fucking reason. It's no big deal. Let's talk about this a little bit more. My beard smells like coconut oil because I just put coconut oil in it. It's fantastic. So let's get into it a little bit deeper. Kanye is the Kanye vest who is like a little like a six-year-old boy that's trying to get everybody's attention and needs to have all the spotlights on him. I guess he's a talented by some people's regards, but at the same time, he's like, ah, kicking, screaming, like, ah, come on, wipe my tushy, wipe my tushy, I want the attention, ah, everybody look at me, talk about me. So he does all this crazy stuff on purpose for clickbait, so people can click on him and be like, oh, look, Kanye, look what he's doing, he's so crazy. Ah. So people pay attention, but they almost don't even pay attention anymore. Yeah, he gets all the attention, which is actually a genius you know people say he's a genius yeah he gets people to pay attention to him you know so that's marketing he's good at marketing but this is the bullshit that people pay attention to let's talk about this a little bit more he just came out with a video called the famous yeah and Arnold's famous you know yeah kill the yeah you know we talk about the um, you know being famous Arnold the famous Arnold the famous he's famous right here you know, we, all the attention comes to Arnold. You know, Arnold was famous before Kanye, before Kim Kardashian, before the Caitlyn Jenners, where you turn into a man or a woman, you know. This is a, uh, it's, it's interesting, you know, what people pay attention to. So let's go over the list of celebrities, you know, you see in the video, you see a lot of naked people in the video. You got the Chris Brown and the Rihanna, which are famous for beating the fuck out of each other because their music sucks. So, you know, you got famous people for being abusive. So this is where our society is coming to. You know, we want to see these people naked. We care about them because, yeah, they get into a fight and everybody, for some reason, cares about two people. People get into domestic violence all the time. You know, so Anna doesn't understand this. You know, Kanye is trying to make all these orgy games with all these famous people off the back of all these people that are hurting each other. It's kind of weird. Let's go on into more people. The Taylor Swift, another person for making bad music. You know, her music is terrible pop crap. It's not country. It's trash, you know? All these people, you know, ugh, this bad music. I mean, she never got into a fight with anybody yet. You know, no one, no one punched her in the face, but she's still famous. You know, little white girl singing pop songs like Britney Spears. You know, much better than Britney Spears. Ugh. But she's in the bed naked. I don't know why she's in the bed naked with Kanye. You know, he's already got his white girl, Kim. <laughs> That's a good joke. And then Kim Kardashian, his wife. Okay, you know, that makes sense. He's in bed with... You know, his wife, that's pretty appropriate, in my opinion. Then you got George W. Bush. Now, who wants this fucking guy in bed with them? He's famous for being an idiot. You know, and everybody calls him an idiot. They call him stupid. But at the same time, he was president of the United States two times. I don't know. Maybe he struck a nerve with other idiots in this country. But if you think about it, I don't care how stupid you are or who you have behind you. You have to have something going for you. You have to strike some kind of a nerve to be a president of the United States two terms in a row, you know? So I think it's crazy that he was, but at the same time, you know, he's famous and yeah, I should want, wouldn't want his little tally walker in bed with me. Yeah, he'd be in there going, yeah, this is... This is where it goes right here. Yeah, this is where I put it. Yeah, get it out of here and get your little Texas Texas pee pee away from me. Yeah, I know it doesn't want anything to do with this. Yeah, I stick to the women. But let's go over. We have the next person in the bed is Anna Wintower. Yeah, Anna Wintower, who's you know famous for being a bitch. You know, she was in the movie uh, Devil Wears Prada, and she was a really mean person. Which is ah, I don't care. I don't know if anyone really cares about her. But yeah, you know, I see on the periscope, some, you know, 
what's his name? The Taylor Swift might have sued Kanye. At the same time, it makes her more popular, you know? Taylor Swift, people don't care about her. And then Kanye gets up and takes her award away from her. And everybody's like, oh, Taylor Swift, I'm so sorry for you. Little skinny white girl, we're so sad that this black guy took her award away. It's just, it goes back to the racial divide and who really gives a shit, you know? If she went up to him and she was like, yeah, I take your award away from you, everyone would be like, oh, yeah, she's so cute. So it's, you know, it's a double standard again, but it's what makes it popular. You know, Kanye was the smartest person in the world for trying to do that to her because people just, yeah, it spotlight, there's no bad attention. On the South pop culture, I am pop culture, you know? I am famous. Why wasn't I in the bed? This is what it comes down to, I'm jelly. I need a whole, I need a whole truckload of bread for my jelly, you know? I'm jelly toast. Why wasn't I in the bed? I'm famous. I'm the famous. I got the most famous biceps in the world. No one has more famous biceps than Arnold. But I wasn't in the bed. I wasn't invited. But I don't know if I want to be in bed next to this next person, Donald Trump. You know? Why don't you get someone with good hair? He's famous for having bad hair. Arnold needs to be famous for having good hair. Look at that hair. You know, who wants to be in bed with Donald Trump? Can you imagine his little toupee going like back and forth when he's fucking? Then <laughs> I don't want to talk about it is anymore. Is it Donald Trump? It's disgusting. Ray J is famous for having sex with Kim. Now, who isn't famous for having sex with Kim Kardashian? Who hasn't been there? You know, that's old news. You know, Kim was pretty smart for releasing that video. People say she didn't, but obviously she did. You know, her and Kanye are a match made in heaven. They're marketing geniuses. There's no bad publicity. That's what it's all about. Then you have the Amber Rose, this person who was married to some rapper, who, you know, Jenny Moore called. She wants her hair back from G.I. Jane. She's like a black G.I. Jane. Now she's trying to make a statement, you know, shave your head. You know, everyone's just crying out for attention. They're trying to make the mark. They're trying to be different. You know, they're famous and people know if you're in this video, you're famous. You made it. You don't have to do anything else the rest of your life. You're famous for just being there. And some of these people have no fucking talent. They're just there. You know, they have a look because they, they say the right thing at the right time and they get popular. AKA is they get the famous. So Kanye, you know, Kanye is just getting more famous and he's making everybody else more famous by doing this video. And then you have the Caitlyn Jenner who's famous for marrying this girl and turning herself into, you know, a woman, you know, he was fantastic. He was a you know an, an Olympian athlete, and there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever you want to do with your life is fine with me. But people make you know idolize you know one person because they do X, Y, and Z because they're in the spotlight for no fucking reason. And in reality, there's millions and thousands of whatever people that do the same thing. And I guess he's a good voice, or she, whatever you want to call him or her. You know, good voice for people that don't have a voice that do the going undergoing the same thing. You know, but famous person. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to even touch that. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying, ah, oh, you shouldn't do that, or that's not right, or you know, or it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. You know, I don't care. Arnold doesn't care. Whatever you want to do with your life is fine. You want to shave your head is fine. You want to give yourself boobies and cut off your peepee? That's fine. I don't care. You do whatever you like. You know, it's your life. It's your future. It's your happiness on this earth. It's important that you embrace yourself. And I guess in reality, you know, Kanye is doing that. Kanye wants to get attention. He wants to do all these ostentatious things. And who's to say he's wrong? You know, he gets away with it. It's crazy. This guy gets away with fucking everything. He might get sued, but you know, it's like he doesn't have enough money. How, if Taylor Swift sues him, you know, what's she going to sue him for? A hundred million is nothing for him. You know, 50 million is nothing, you know? Who really cares? He's married to Kim Kardashian. They have so much fucking money. Who really cares how much money it is? It's just a number. She's going to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wait about, you know, two or three months, no one's going to think about this twice. No one's going to watch this video in 20 years and be like, oh my God, it's Taylor Swift and the little boobies. No one cares. No one cares about Taylor Swift. We're all going to be dead in like 30, 40 years anyhow. It doesn't even matter. And then you have the Bill Cosby, you know, this fucking all in the family guy, you know, plus prescription medication. He used to be, you know, okay, in everybody's televisions and everyone's like, oh, Bill Cosby, <laughs> he's so funny, you know. And now he's like a fucking rapist. You know, who knows what's going on with that? But he's famous. So he got all these people that are famous for the bad things. You know, they're bad. They're famous for beating each other up. They're famous for being bitches. They're famous for having bad hair and being racists. They're famous for fucking people. They're famous for, you know, being married to someone else who's famous. They're being famous for, you know, cutting off the pee-pee and giving themselves the boobies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, I don't care. I'm just saying, think about what people are being famous for. Think about where the attention is in this country, you know. You can't is working on... If you look at the picture in the video... If you look at the picture in the video, Kanye West has bigger titties than all of them. You know, where's his workout? 
you know, didn't he have a song called Workout like a long time ago? He needs to start listening to his own fucking music because he doesn't work out. I look in the picture, it looks like he has boobies. He's got the C cups over here. You know, he married the Kim Kardashian, he starts making all this money, he gets very complacent and stops working out. You know, it looks like he's fucking lactating in the picture. You know, this is not good, this is not healthy, you know? So instead of worrying about what's famous and kicking and screaming and trying to get all the attention, start focusing on your fitness. Everybody in this country, and I come over from Austria, and I've been in the United States for a long time, you know? But what happens is everybody's so obsessive. Everybody's so worried about the nakedness and the nudity. Everyone's like, oh my God, there's titties. Oh my God, there's a pee-pee on the screen. What is the problem? You go home, you watch on TV and you get outraged and you go home and people in these like politicians and these people in these celebrities are going home, they're complaining in public like, oh my God, the boobies everywhere. Oh my God, censorship, we shouldn't be seeing this. But they suck on the titties when they grow up, like little babies. They go home and they suck on their wife's titties and then they come home and they watch child pornography and they watch porn and they do all these things at home behind closed doors and they go out in public and then rah, 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 rah. what is this problem? What is this divide? We are sexual creatures, you know? We are sexual creatures. This is something that is never going to go away. They say sex sells, yeah, because we're only here on this earth to have sex and reproduce. Everything else is just bullshit. This higher thinking, it's bullshit. We are little minuscule, little specks in this universe. We mean nothing, you know? We have to learn to love each other and stop worrying about who's famous and who's beating up who and what kind of music video comes out and Kanye's orgy gains. It's fucking ridiculous. So the only reason that Arnold is here twice in a row on the Daily Swell, tomorrow I go back to California, the only reason I'm here is because I got so pissed off and I'm like, Swolnomus, I got to do it again. You go do your other work, go work on your Swolnomus Premium. I'll let me take it over because I just saw the video and I need to release a little bit of tension. I need to get this out of the way. Y'all, Arnold is here and Arnold is pretty jealous, you know? I'm pretty pissed off. I think too much attention is on Kanye and not enough is on Arnold. Where's my bed? Why am I not naked next to Kanye? I want to be naked next to Kim Kardashian. I've been in this country. I come over. I say, I'm going to win Mr. Olympia. And I win Mr. Olivia, Mr. Olympia a thousand times. I say, I'm going to be a movie star. I'm a movie star a thousand times. I say, I want to be governor. I am governor a thousand times. But I never. I say, I want to marry a Kennedy. I marry a Kennedy. And then I cheat on her. Yeah, but I've never been with a Kardashian. I am almost the most American conquistador ever. Until I get the Kardashian, my, my life is not complete, you know? My mission is not complete. My legacy is not in stone until I bang a Kardashian. So if anyone wants to talk to me, I don't know which, I, there are like 30 Kardashians. Come on, just one. Doesn't have to be Chloe, doesn't have to be Kim. Doesn't have to be that other little one with all the babies. It could be one of the other ones. It could be the stepsisters, you know? Kardashian by association. It could be anyone. Just come to Arnold and let me, let, let, let me finish this legacy of Arnold, you know? But thank you very much for watching the Arnold rage again. Yeah, this is the fourth time I rage on the swole, the daily swole. This is fantastic. I love raging. This is a fun time, okay? When it comes out, when you watch the video, when you watch the video, look at the, look at the Kanye. The Kanye video is famous. And see if you agree with Arnold, you know? See if you agree with Arnold that these people are famous for bullshit reasons, that Kanye has big titties. And... Uh, that Arnold has better here than anyone in that bed, you know? Yeah. Well, thank you for very much for joining me for the Daily Swole number 51. And I see you tomorrow. Well, I don't see you. I go back to California. But Swole Normas comes back tomorrow and gets back into the fitness, a little bit more, more detail. So enjoy your Sunday. It's Game of Thrones season finale. So watch it tonight at 9 p.m. Yeah. I'm going to be there. I'm not going to be square. I'm also going to do leg day today and probably pound some fucking pizza. Yeah. Gonna make some sick fucking gains. So enjoy your day. Have fun. Check out Swolnomus Premium in the link below, and I see you tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern Time on Daily Swell. Yow, 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 yow. I'll be back. Yow. I have to say it every time now. Thank you for joining. Peace out. Another.